memory causes a lot of problems for students. So I want to show you a quick scenario that might be helpful. So consider this program. So we have a, a structure which is basically just a node and a linked list. And it has fields in it. It has integers. It has pointers, all of these things. Uh, nothing that should be particularly surprising. So, so, so you end up with a scenario often where you where you have a particular node and you want to copy it to another node and students often will do things like this and say, oh, okay, n2 dot is valid equals n dot is valid n2 dot size. And about this time they're feeling kind of silly, like do I really want to type all this? This approach is it's a little verbose, but it's valid. Like definitely you can definitely do this. But so today I just wanted to I want to point out a couple of different ways that you can approach this problem. So one thing that that some students don't realize is that uh, that in C you can actually just say n2 equals n, and this will in fact. So you notice I put a printf down below that will that'll print out the values of n2. And so if I come down here and I run it, you can see sure enough that the things that I had put in there did get copied. So basically this is one way to copy to copy two structs that's a bit more compact. Now the the way that I, the thing that I was really getting at in this demo is though there's another way to do it, and that's using the memcopy function. If you have any particular block of memory that you want to copy someplace else, you can say uh, memcopy. The first pointer you put in is the destination, so I could say copy to the address of n2 from the address of n, and then you have to, of course, tell it how many bytes you want to copy, so you could say size of node underscore t. And this will, uh, and this will work as well. Oh, whoops, yep, I forgot a header file. Sorry about that. So I'll have to come up here and say, so now I get the same result. So I have, I've, I've copied data over. And you may say, why not use assignment? Because that looks prettier than memcopy. Assignment may also be a little bit faster. But where memcopy really shines is when you're trying to copy data from one place to another where you have less structure involved. So let's look at how this works. So in this case, we were copying one struct to another. But imagine that instead of copying a struct uh, to another struct, we were trying to copy a struct into some kind of buffer uh, that's just a character array. And this memory, this buffer, might be memory that's going to be used as a network packet or some other structure we're going to write to a file. Now imagine we wanted to copy node n into a particular location in this buffer. You could now say, I want, the, I want to copy it into buffer plus whatever offset you want. So let's say I want it to be copied in 10 bytes beyond the start of of the buffer, then something like this, you'd say copy it to buffer plus 10. Now note in uh, good practice, you would also want to change this to be like, uh, let's say you would not want to use magic numbers. So you would say something like this. To make your code a little bit easier to maintain, so now we're copying the contents of n into an arbitrary location in memory. In this case, into the middle of this buffer. And now I still want to be able to print out what was copied. I want to see what was copied. So let's change n2 to be a pointer, and then we will set it to point to this location in the buffer that we just copied that data into. 
now we can oh whoops <laughs> yeah it's a problem when you change a struct to a pointer sorry about that oh yes and I'm gonna have to cast my Cast my pointers. And now you notice, OK, so we basically have the same thing. We're just able to, so in, in case you were wondering, all, all I did was point this pointer into that buffer at the location where we copied the node in so that we could see what its contents were. OK, so memcopy is just nice because it allows you to copy a generic block of memory, so some number of bytes from one place to another. Uh, the other thing that you may, this sort of related, that may come in handy is let's say, so you notice that this buffer, um, if I don't do any of this copying, and you may say, well, so now if I if I do this, you notice that the results, the the memory that I get is, is sort of difficult to predict uh, garbage looking numbers, right? And the reason is, is that this data is stored on the stack. And so we don't know when this function is called what's actually there. So sometimes when you have this buffer, you may actually want to not necessarily copy something over, but just set all of the bytes in a particular buffer to a certain value. And so there's another function we'll use that I wanted to show you really quick, which is memset. Um, so you can also say memset, let's say we wanted to set all of the, or to set all of the values in buffer to, to be zero then I could do something like this. So you put, you know, memset the pointer that you're trying to, that you're trying to, uh, to the memory that you want to set, the, um, you know, the value that you want to set and the number of bytes that you're going to set to that value. <laughs> yep, I forgot to set my pointer, sorry. So anyway, so now you notice that uh, that all of our values are initialized to to zero, which can be very handy. <clears throat> and of course, you could set them to something. They don't have to be set to zero. You could set them to CD, for example. You know, any particular byte value you want, and and now you notice we basically have CD everywhere. All of those bytes got set to be the value of CD. So anyway, that's just I wanted to point that out. Uh, mem copy and mem set, very handy for manipulating pieces of memory. Very useful for a lot of the projects that you do in uh, in operating systems or networks classes. I hope this is helpful. Thank you.